So we're at Lake Louise, Banff National Park, British the water, Columbia. The water is like a turquoise. Turquoise, but like a gray turquoise. Or... So the reason why it does that because there's a uh, sediment from the glacier as it comes down, it grinds into the rock and carries those minerals down. And then when the sun shines on it, those mineral particles in the water are reflecting, making this bluish color. Did you know all that? Yeah. Oh, Jody knew that. So if everybody else knows that, I apologize in advance. So these people are going canoeing for like 90 Canadian dollars. You too could go canoeing out there. But um, I think we'll probably won't do that. There's not a whole lot of places you can, you can kayak to except out there and or canoe and then turn around and come back. So I don't know if this is so popular because of the lake itself or the backdrop of the mountain and the glacier. Either way, we didn't think we were going to get here for a minute because the parking was totally full. And as we looped around, somebody were leaving and we got in there, but... Um, they charge us 11 Canadian dollars to park, which I don't understand because you pay you pay to get in the park, then they pay to park in the park. Ironic as that is. So then there's a big fancy hotel over there, but I don't think that's the hotel that. Uh, what what do you call it? The Fairmont. It's called the Fairmont. But it I don't. Look like the one. Yeah, I don't think that's it over there. That's some other hotel, I think. So, that was a sign. All right, speaking of signs, we're gonna go walk around the lake now. And Jody says I'm not doing a very good job filming the glacier because there's a tree in front of it. But there's a big chunk of ice behind there, slowly melting, going into this lake, depositing sediment, making it a murky blue. You should put some type of filtration system on there and clean that up. So anywho, gas in Canada is $1.49 a liter, Canadian. So, <laughs> um, besides trying to figure out what the speed limit is, when you can go, it jumps to 60 kilometers an hour, to 90, to 100, and down to 50. Like, that's confusing. Because um, I do have kilometers on my speedometer on my truck, but it's super faint. super faint, you can't see it. And I got a cataract in my right eye. <laughs> so... It kind of sucks trying to... So you're looking at pretty views as I'm telling my stories. And then Jody, <laughs> is she having a hot flash? No, get it off me. Oh, get that off her. So anywho, we'll look over here at these canoers way over there. So gas is a buck forty-nine a liter. So if you figure four liters and a gallon approximately, um, so that'd be like six bucks a gallon Canadian. And right now the the U.S. dollar, the Canadian dollar is worth 79 cents for every U.S. dollar. So when you do that math, it comes up to be $4.80 a gallon for gas. So that's what we're paying for gas. And then um, my truck gets a whopping 14.5 miles per gallon. When you're paying $5 a gallon for gas, you really calculate the .5 in there to make yourself feel better. Because by I said we're getting 14 miles per gallon in gas, that would... Um, not be as as fun. Is that right, Jody? Sure. Yeah. So I think a lot of I think that the United States has cheap gas compared to a lot of countries. I still don't like paying four dollars a gallon close to in in the United States either. That was Jody's head you just saw like flash pass through there. So we're at Bow Lake. We are now on the Ice Fields Parkway which is um, going through Jasper National Park. So we're spending just a little bit of time, like a day and a half, in Banff and Jasper, because the main goal is to get to Alaska via the Alaskan Highway. So you see, we just went by a thing called um, Clawfoot Glacier. So the, you still see the, the glaciers up there. Actually, the Clawfoot Glacier was on around the other side of that thing there. You can't see it from here. But as I said in previous episodes of my videos, 
the water is blue like that because it as the glacier melts it grinds in the rock and and then um bust apart like minerals in the rock and then it becomes suspended in the water and then the light reflects on the, um, on the minerals of different things making it different colors so depending on where you're at in the world the water could be aqua could be greenish or could be all types of things or it could be clear but um that's that's the truth you can google that if you want so pretty cool biggest problem with this is um when I got the camper on the truck, I don't get very good gas mileage, so I always got to pay attention to where the next gas station is. And the gas stations are spaced out quite a bit here in Canada and Alaska. So whenever I've gone, um, whenever I'm close to half a tank, I stop and fill up. Even if it's only like five or six gallons, because you never know how long it's going to be till the next gas station. All right, that's all for this video.